Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Happy Monday. I hope you're having an awesome day, even though you're probably struggling, but you know you have that like new year, new me kind of boost. Um, keep it up. You can do it. You just gotta get through this semester and then it's summertime if you're in the US or Northern Hemisphere. As you can tell, I'm in Paris on the beach right now. Yeah. If you've never seen my face before, my name's Taylor Che. It's really nice to meet you. I would love if you would subscribe down below. Click the button. I haven't figured out what side it's on yet. I have faith you know where it is, though. Today, I'm going to be doing a boarding school Q&A. Basically, I didn't ask for Q&A questions. Q question and answer questions? What? I didn't ask you guys for questions, but basically, these are just comments that I have gotten on my videos regarding boarding school. So, I'm going to be answering them. By the way, if you're watching this video and you've never watched any of my videos before, especially pertaining to boarding school, I'd recommend going and watching those. Um, I'll have them in the description box. I have like five maybe about my school before you watch this because you might be totally confused like, what? But yeah. So I would recommend going and watching those and then coming back here. Wait, what is face check? What's face check and why do they have it? So, face check, I guess I just haven't described this well enough because I thought it was kind of self-explanatory, but basically it's like when you're younger, or even now, like if you're a teenager, your parents told you that you have to check in. Like, if you're playing outside in the neighborhood or whatever, you have to check in at this time. That's basically what it is. We have to check in every weekday between 6.30 and 7. We have to go to our SLC and say, like, hey, what's up? And then they will... So, like say oh you're good and then yeah and if you don't go to face check you get grounded and then we also have a face check in the evening at between 10 30 and 10 45 and you have to go and do the same thing and check in um and then on the weekends it's a little different we don't have face check between 6 30 and 7 but we do have a face check at 12 30 between 12 30 and 12 45 because that's the curfew when you're supposed to be on the floors so hopefully that is more explanatory um, and we have it basically just to check on us to make sure that we're where we're supposed to be we're not you know off in like a different state or something so a lot of people ask me which boarding school I'm at and for some reason like I feel weird just saying it but at the same time like it's not hard to find out if you follow me on my social media um, if you were to look up like rankings of schools you could find mine out very easily so I'm just gonna say it even though I feel weird saying it but I go to the there it is dorkiest question ever but for boarding school is it hard to make friends lol like I'm pretty shy at first and I really want to go to boarding school but I don't know if it's worth leaving my friends and trying to make new ones okay that's a great question so like for me, it wasn't that hard of a decision because I was really unhappy at my home school and the majority of the people that come to my school were unhappy in their home schools and they're like, okay, this is a fresh start, this liberal school, awesome, this is what's up. You have to take a lot of things into account when you're going to boarding school. Um, like one, like, can you handle it? Can you handle being away from home? Can you handle being away from your friends? And I only have like one good friend at boarding school and I'm fine. Like I still see my other friends when I go home. And, like, I'm perfectly content that way. Like, that's cool. Cool. Especially with my school, it's really easy to make friends. And even if, like, in my school, everyone is thrown in fresh their junior year. So no one, like, you might know a couple people, but usually you don't know anyone. So, like, I came in, I didn't know a single person. So you're just thrown in and everyone's kind of thrown in fresh, like, kindergarten. So you have to, like, make new friends. And then if you're going to a boarding school where, you know, maybe there are already people that have been going there for a long time, it's still going to be really easy to make friends because you're living with these people. So, like, it's inevitable that you're going to become friends with them, at least your roommate, if no one else, because they're, like, siblings. You live with them, you see them every day, you go to class with them, you eat with them, like, all of that. So, making friends is easier than normal school where you just go to class and that's it. So, is your boarding school in the U.S.? Yes, my boarding school is in Indiana. Do you get your own room or do you have roommates? We have roommates. The only circumstance in which you get your own room is if your roommate moves out, like if your roommate leaves. So, and that's only like, say your roommate leaves in the first day or two, maybe three days, then you're probably going to get a new roommate that's going to come off the waiting list, like with my school anyways. But the only circumstance at my school when you get your own room is if your roommate leaves when it's too late to accept people off the waiting list and so quite a few people do get their own rooms but like by quite a few I mean like maybe 10 maybe 
Was it your choice to go to that school or your parents? It was my choice to go to my school completely. Like, my parents didn't want me to go at all. Like, my dad was like, it's a good opportunity, but my mom was like, mm, nah, you're good where you are. So, I had to push really hard to be able to go, but, you know, here I am. Why can't you brush your teeth in the bathroom, lol? <laughs> So basically, this was like in response to my room curfew thing, like, we have a room curfew of midnight, you have to be in your room, and you're not allowed to be out in the bathrooms brushing your teeth or showering or any of that stuff, you're expected to have that stuff done by midnight, so that's just why we're not allowed to brush our teeth just after midnight, like, we can, we can brush our teeth in the bathroom. Can you go home on the weekends to visit your family? Yes, we can. You can literally leave at any point in time, your parents just have to sign you out, um, you know, where you're going, who you're going with, and yeah, you can leave at any time, just as long as you're not missing class. That is all the questions that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, if you had any of these questions, I answered them, but if you have some other questions that aren't answered in my other videos, feel free to comment down below, and I will definitely respond to you and give you the lowdown. Um, and just so you guys know, I do post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you should definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. My happy little pill. Take me away. Dry my eyes. Bring color to my sky.